Kathleen. I go to Penn, concentrate in finance and statistics, and will be in New York after graduation. Um, the past few years have been challenging, exciting, and overall a very special time in my life. Um, God has taught a tremendous amount about himself and his heart for me. Um, in fact, he's taught just about one main spiritual lesson every semester. While I didn't see so clearly along the way, in hindsight, his lessons and my testimony is really about breaking down my idols and building up my relationship with him. Uh, freshman fall, God taught me humility by breaking down my grades. Um, back in high school, I barely studied and, and generally got A's. When someone else didn't get A's, I was like, they probably just didn't study enough. I, w I wasn't antagonistic, but I, I definitely had pride and a pretty narrow mind. Uh, freshman year, I studied super hard, and I got a 44% on this exam. I didn't think it was possible to do so poorly by even randomly guessing. Um, but looking back, I give praise because he, that, that brought me to my knees before God. Through academic struggles, God taught me both humility in this area as well as compassion for others who are struggling in this challenging environment. Freshman spring, God broke down my identity and social ability. Sophomore fall, God taught me how to forgive. Sophomore spring, God taught me the importance of keeping convictions and promises. Um, junior fall, God taught me the power of prayer, even for small things. For example, there was this one time um, that I checked pen and touch every single day for two weeks for the last class I needed to graduate to open up, and it was always closed when I checked. Um, and then I remembered I could pray, and I also asked my parents to pray. And the next morning, I woke up, I checked, and it was open. <laughs> um, so <laughs> through little things like this and many other um, answers, many, many larger answers, uh, or yeah, answers to prayers, God sealed my faith in the power of prayer. Um, and finally, junior spring, here I am. God is teaching me how to be, how to seek to be used for his kingdom. Alas, he has impressed upon me a strong desire to go on missions this, uh, this summer uh, for the brief but two important weeks before work, work begins. Um, I believe he will use it to not only reach his people in China, but also prepare my heart to evangelize in the workplace when I get back. So yeah, it's honestly been an amazing ride learning these lessons. I couldn't have fathomed better lesson plans. Uh, while these lessons are by no means complete, in fact, I sometimes can even unlearn, I know that God is faithful and is writing more lesson plans each day. Because he is faithful, I am able to live each day with open palms, because little did I know coming into college that I'd be going to GCC more than any of my classes, that I'd remember my semesterly spiritual lessons more clearly than any academic lessons, and that I'd meet brothers and sisters who have made an eternal impact in my life, um, and that I'd graduate and had to affirm that I have such strong convictions about making a missions field out of. God is good all the time, even when um, I'm struggling, even when I'm weak. Second Corinthians 12.10 says, for when I am weak, then I'm strong. Stay strong, my friends. I'm excited to see you at the end of the uh, end of this race.